All right, I'm the flat rate master, and well, let's go show you some of the fun I'm having right now. <laughs> All right, the Volkswagen from last week's video, the customer did approve the cylinder head removal, had to go back to the machine shop twice. Uh, unfortunately, the original owner has turned it over to his son, and the quality's kind of gone down a little bit. Um, We'd originally sold, as I said in the video, a carbon cleaning along with doing the turbo. Sent the head over to the machine shop with a uh, with valve stems, expecting them to do a complete head job on it. Well, we got it back. The valves were the same condition as when it left. They decked the head, they installed the valve stem seals, but didn't clean the head. Just as nasty as it could be, and so it was decided that I would go ahead and just clean the valve rather than take it back to the machine shop, have to wait a day or two or whatever for it to come back. So in preparation, I went ahead and put GM top engine cleaner in the four cylinders, kind of start soaking it up, you know, maybe help loosen it up a little bit, and then I was gonna clean it. And I was coming over, reapplying as I was doing other stuff in my other bay. So after doing that a couple times, Found the intake valves on cylinder number one and two were leaking. Yeah, hadn't put it back on the engine or put a cam in it, nothing. It was just sitting there leaking down. Realized we had a problem. Number three was actually seeping as well. So we had to send it back over there. They cleaned the valves. They did a valve job on it. For some reason, they didn't do that before. So finally got it back today. In my hex video, I talked about that hex bolt that, you know, is under the shield. And oh, you know, a bunch of comments about RBT, tried that. Literally was around seven millimeter. It, it, seven wouldn't go in there. Nothing would actually go in there and grab. How I got it off was an air hammer. I don't know what to tell you, it was stuck. It did not want to move. You know, my snap-on literally spun in the hole and created a like seven millimeter hole that was round. Nothing I had would actually grab it anymore. So, air hammer to the win. Um, I know a lot of comments were, you know, R RBT, I have them, they didn't work. Sorry, <laughs> my Mac guy said the same thing. <laughs> he watched that video and he goes, you know, you don't have, I was like, that didn't work. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't gotten back onto it because of this. Nice new remanufactured GM transmission in this fun guy. And as you can see, the torch is out. So the reason for the transmission replacement is a severe shutter from the torque converter. I know these have other internal problems in them. When they go bad, they go bad. And it was definitely not happy. So first time I've seen actual metal shavings in a transmission pan, not just clutch material. Torch was out because, well, while it's not that rusty, the exhaust really fought me. The uh, exhaust clamp in the back, well, <laughs> didn't have to cut it off, but had to put a whole lot of heat in it. And you know, it, it broke the clamp, so hopefully the right one comes from Napa tomorrow. One of the studs, one of the exhaust studs, yes, I heated it up with a torch, got about, maybe a quarter inch away from the flange and spun the threads. That was after heating it up. Luckily, I was able to get the rest of them out, but that one I couldn't save. Had to take the torch, cut the nut off, then had to heat up the uh, exhaust manifold to extract the stud. Fun. I'm sure GM guys are going, yeah, that happens on every one. It's always the one stud on this one side. I don't know why, but it's always that one stud that doesn't want to come off. 
But yes, I take the torch to all the nuts. They're a crushed nut. They don't want to come off without stripping, so they're one-time use. I know. Use the torch. The rest of them came off. It's always that one on the passenger side that doesn't want to come off. I don't know why. So, this is the fun I've been having. Yes, both bays are down. <laughs> I, I, the transmission for this one came in. The head was still out on that one. They kind of want this one back, so... Tomorrow's Friday, so hopefully this will be done and I can ship it. That one, probably not. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Fly Raid Master.